I like it. I like the feel. Compared to this Reflex real quick, it's like, it's like skinnier. I like it a lot. Envision Pro. CQC Control Freak on the right. Wanted to show you guys really quick with the Envision. You can pop off the faceplate just like this. Pop out the sticks. Replace them with whatever ones you want. I've been rocking a dome stick on the left like I usually do. And this CQC Control Freak fits, fits perfectly on the right stick as well. So that's kind of what I've been rocking. Pop the faceplate back on. And you're good to go. Just like some of the other scuffs. We took off the side action buttons because we didn't really like them that much. They got in my way. You guys might like them. We took off the middle paddles because those got in my way too. So we just left the, the outer paddles, which feel pretty good. Controller is much skinnier than a reflex, which, which I like. I have been running it with an overclock on Warzone 2. It's been feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Let's go back over here now and open up IQ settings. IQ settings, we have the mappings here. Uh, on my G keys at the bottom, I decided to go with like the basically F keys to mute game chat and game sound. I'll probably do a toggle uh, mic button on, on this third one as well. Lighting effects, you can change those if you want to. Uh, for the dead zones, so I was getting like this weird thing where it would throw grenades randomly, like on accident. It was like a little bit too sensitive. So once I put these dead zones to 7%, it stopped doing that for the triggers. We got a thumbsticks here. I've been rocking a 1% dead zone on the left stick and a zero on the right and a 2.02 uh, dead zone in game. And now I was doing that on the MW3 beta and on Warzone 2. No vibration. Uh, I turn off eco mode. You could probably run that. Probably doesn't really matter that much. And then I haven't really tried this with wireless as well either. And then has auto shut off. You can change the brightness on the lights at the bottom if you want to as well. Pretty straightforward on the Envision IQ settings. I'll show you my in-game settings with the controller as well. All right, on the overclock, you can see here, 1000 Hertz overclocked and running it with that. Feels pretty good. All right, now for our in-game settings, I'm playing on Tactical Flipped. I think a lot of people will probably like playing with the triggers on this controller, but this feels similar enough to the uh, Reflex to where I feel like playing on flipped is just super comfortable for me. So I like that. I've been rocking 9.7 sensitivity with a 1 ADS multiplier. So no multiplier. And my dead zones in game, I've been rocking 0.02 and 0.01 for left and right. 0.02 right, 0.01. Uh, triggers, I just kind of turned to zero. You can put these to 0 0.01 or it doesn't really matter because the IQ software will like bring that dead zone high enough to where it's not like hit, randomly hitting stuff. Basically, go up by one point by one point with the uh, trigger dead zones to make sure that's just not accidentally throwing nades and stuff for you or whatever game you're playing. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. I'm still rocking uh, dynamic curve in game. The cool thing about the IQ software too is you can change that uh, response curve on the IQ settings as well. So like on Apex, I might actually try and dabble with like dynamic on the app and then run linear in game to get a sort of like similar feel. Kind of cool. I might mess around with that a little bit more on COD as well. See if I can get used to it. We'll see. Besides that, pretty straightforward. I love the controller a lot. It's been fantastic so far. As long as it stays durable like it has been, I'm going to switch to it. If you guys want to check out the Scuff Envision or the Envision Pro, $129.99 for the Envision, $179.99 for the Envision Pro. The Pro is out of stock right now. Check out your local Best Buys. They usually might have some in stock. But Scuff should be getting some more in stock soon. And as always, use code TP at checkout. I love the Pro so far. Hopefully it holds up well compared to the Reflex. Hope you guys enjoy it.